Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across my YouTube channel, you are highly welcome. Please, I beg you for this favor, click on that red button that says subscribe. Beside the red button is a notification bell. Turn the bell on so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be the first person to check it out. I appreciate each and every one of you who always turn back to watch my videos. Like you know, I present news on daily basis to you. So after watching the video, you are free to criticize and leave your comment constructively share the video yeah you can share it to your family friends anybody that you can so that they themselves will be informed now i present to you another interesting or informative video which we are going to watch together yeah i'm going to watch this video together with you then we'll come france belgium at the detriment of the people of their country I don't know if you've been to Niger before. You will see advert poverty. You will see hardship. You see an undeveloped economy. And these people buy, their community sees them, enrich themselves so much, and they, they, they arrogate to themselves so much power that they become untouchable within their own communities, where the majority, the masses, are left hanging, poor. And all that you could do is that if we give a deadline and if you don't submit yourself to our authority, a non-existent authority, we are going to invade, you are going to invade somebody's country. Is that all we can do? The last time I was here, we were talking about the attacks on school children at Uganda. Please, it's a high time. It's a high time we call on ECOWAS to, be, to leave the relevance of the organization. It's a hard time we call on African heads of state to first of all think of the people who has given them the mandate. Look at elections across Africa. Has it been fair? Look at what happened in Nigeria. When the people's mandate is not being used judiciously, the people's plight are not adhered to and we treat people with contempt as if they don't matter and yet when the people anyway let's ask ourselves are the people of niger on the streets demonstrating against the coup basically if the people of niger are not so happy and they don't want the coup d'etat that is okay they should they themselves, the indigents themselves, the citizenry themselves, we should find them on the street of Miami. Is that not the case? They should be agitating that that's, we don't. That's Nyami. Nyami. Nyami yeah. They should be on the street of Nyami, demonstrating, burning tires and all over the place. Then we will know within the African sub know the people themselves, they don't want it. The citizens are clapping for the coup d'etat. <laughs> They are happy. There has been an over, they, they don't say it's an over to. They say there has been a change of government. And you sit at the comfort of your zone in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Togo, and say that you are going to invade their country. In any case, let's ask ourselves. This United States of American people, when they invaded Liberia, uh, uh, and then Libya, it is the United States of America that invaded Liberia. Are you aware? Mm -hmm. What has been the life of Liberians? It's Ghana that suffered most after their invasion. They went into Libya, ousted and killed Muammar Gaddafi. And what today, what is the record? What is the history of Libya? And this former president Busson had the infantry to call on the United States to come to Africa. He should tell you straight that this guy is a traitor. This guy do not work for the interests of the people of Niger and for Dalmata Africa. And Dalmata Ecowas. The West African region that he belongs that he wants Ecowas to go and invade. Now, is it not the case that because this new guy decided that, okay, we don't want to have anything to do with France. 
we are a republican state and therefore we want to use our resources to develop our country without france that's why france is not happy if these new guys who are taking over the jail have decided okay we will continue to give our resources to france will france today be angry please the new africa we are well awake the new africa president and chroma spoke about we are not going to leave that new africa the new africa will use its own resources to develop its own country and we the youth we don't even care if we are led by a military a, a military officer or a democratically elected officer what the youth of africa now needs is development we don't care because we have practiced your so-called uh, democracy we have seen how much we have influenced our leaders at the detriment of our, our people having to see it we are calling for one common currency for ECOWAS, and it's taking us 20 something years we are unable to do it why is it that us france un they are not pushing the african union uh, the, and then that of uh, ECOWAS to have a common trade to remove all boundaries there go was. to europe are there any boundaries in europe once you have an Euro european passport no. go to the united states are there any boundaries from california to virginia no. once you have the u.s bus passport why is it that in africa you cannot freely move from ghana to togo why is it in africa you cannot free from ghana to nigeria you can't move freely from ghana to cote d'ivoire You have created divisions among the African continent just to perpetuate your fraud against the people of Africa. The youth of Africa we have to be awake. United States, the European Union, and the UN has nothing good to offer us. And I'm happy there are new crop of African leaders who are coming up and they are speaking the way we want to hear. Ruto of Kenya. He's leading the crusade. That look, we have to use our own. Look, let me tell you. Unto Africa unite and be a state. A one country, one federation. Mm -hmm. We would always have the infiltration of these people. And for me, from where I sit, and from so far as the people of Niger are not complaining. So far as the citizens in Niger are happy of this overthrow. Or this, they said that there has been a change of government. We should leave it like that. Today, there's stability in Burkina Faso. Are they not? Today, Mali is enjoying stability. Are they not? And Niger has realized it. It is a warning to the other parts of Africa, and for that matter, ECOWAS countries, that when you subject your people to unwanted hardship, you are just cutting short your governance. It is a warning to all of them. Including Ghana. Including Ghana. Therefore, including Ghana. Ga you see? Including Ghana. Including Ghana. Ghana. And whoever takes over the reins of Ghana. Yeah. Let me tell you, my brother, until we move away from this MPP NDC argument. Okay? And we begin to see Ghana as a whole, as a country for us. Let me tell you, we'll be the whole people to subject our people to poverty. You get it. So please, let's move the argument further. I am even calling for one African country. A United States of Africa. Where there won't be any borders in Africa. Where we're going to have one single currency. Like, you go to Europe. And you know, if when you are just, you, yesterday you are coming from Belgium. Do the Belgians have a different currency than of Germany? No. Why is it that they have euros? Yeah. That the common currency they trade. But they don't want Africa to have one common currency. Why? So please, and Kroma as a prophet foresaw this and told us that until we unite as one people look development will elude us our independence will be meaningless, will be meaningless. Yeah. and i tell you from 1957 to date we are yet to give meaning to the independence so please let's move away from this argument of mpp ndc let's move away from the, 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 the hardship people put, look, people take reins of governance and the ordinary person that gave them the so-called power becomes nothing afterwards. And why should we entertain it? 
We will be all better off when we are all doing well. That is why we can say that, look, you drive your VA to your village, you drive through a rough, muddy road to your, your, your self-contained house, and you, you are happy. When you, only have, you are the only person that have a roof apartment in your village, and the rest of them, all of them live in the hacks. When you come out of your house and you see all oh, everybody around you living in the bamboo, are you happy? Is that a leadership you want? So please, this invasion theory, threat, came at the wrong time. Look, they goofed, they got it wrong. They, they got it drunk. And they were so much in a hurry just because one of their cronies. You understand? I will encourage these people to stay fit with their, their, their army and ensure that they stabilize their country and use their God-given resources judiciously for the benefit of the ordinary person. Look, look at the street of Accra. These Nigerians are taking over the streets of Accra. Don't you meet them? Look at this traffic. When you get to the traffic post, look at this Niger children, these kids begging for arms at the various uh, traffic posts. Uh, many of them, for those people, I think they are from Chad. Eh? The fair, the so, of the one. No, the first. The, if you go to. You see, in Niger, there are portions of Nigerians who are fair like that. Uh, yes. They are there. Okay. They, are from, they are from that. A zone from Niger to Chad to Sudan. Uh -huh. Okay. Why are they in Ghana? Because of the hardship, the unbearable conditions, living conditions in those countries. So people also exploit. The, do you know that most of them are being trafficked to Ghana mm -hmm. to come and beg for arms? And even those monies they are taking, they don't even spend on themselves. They go and account to people. Yeah. Why? Had Ghana also gone through this, don't you think our children would have also been subjected to these hardships? So why can't we motivate them? Why can't we? People clap for Jerry, Jerry Rollins in 1979. So, and that, that thing changed the face of our politics to date. That today we have had a stable economy, a stable uh, democracy. So when we see our fellow African subjecting his own people, for his individual parochial interests, we should have the gut to challenge them and allow people with good conscience and good intent to take over the reins of government. And that is what the military people have done in, uh, what do you call it, uh, Niger. I, am, I will not sit here and condemn them. I'd rather sit here and condemn ECOWAS. I'd rather sit here and condemn U UN. Look, in the last three years, continuously we've been talking about the farming situation in Niger, has the UN envoy been able to even help them to sustain lives? Do you remember the outbreak of Ebola? Do you know how they were affected? When this, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, the last one, COVID broke out, vaccines, getting vaccines for this country was even a challenge. Why were UN? When the COVID time, we realized our real position as African, how we were mistreated by this European Union. Right. So please, we don't need US. They should not. We have seen them invade Liberia. We have seen them invade Libya. And we know the results of their invasion. We don't need, and I say this, we don't need United States in, in Niger. We don't need them. We don't want their invasion. When they invaded Iraq, where, where, what's, what's Iraq today? Yeah. We don't need them. And we are telling them in their face. Africa don't need them because ever since, may I so rest in the late Efua, the woman that just that, ever since we came in contact with two people. Yes, Efua Sutherland. Efua. Yeah, 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 what's her name, man? You understand? Ever since we came in contact with you people. Nanama Atayedu. Nanama. Atayedu, yeah. Atayedu. Yeah. What have we benefited? Nothing. We haven't. What have we benefited? You are who you are because of we Africans. Yet, you have subject us to advert poverty. You have made us a ridicule of ourselves. So we don't need UN. We don't want the US invasion in, what do we call it, uh, 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 Niger. 
And if they have anything good for us, we even plead with them to take away their military camps in Africa. Yeah. We are right. calling on them to go and move away from Mauritius and other places so that we Africans will have the opportunity to control our own economies. Right. Right. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Nanaya Piatin. That's a very impassioned um, submission very there. Much. Um, I, I expect him to speak same way. <laughs> on the on the on the on the on the issue of um, the Niger coup. Right. Let me also pick um, Honourable uh, Sukbaru's thoughts on the issue. But uh, of course, I'd want to also know your thoughts on it. Our Facebook stream is up and running. Make sure you 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 join. Also, uh, text line should be displayed on the screens. Make sure you send in your uh, your own opinions as well. Honourable. Yeah. Justice. Thank you very much. First bless. of all, uh, bless. <laughs> Justice is, uh, you know, <laughs> because blessed. of the fire that was uh, I'm telling morning. you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, let me congratulate my brother. I liked his uh, presentation about the issue currently happening in Nigeria. Uh, before I proceed, I would want to use this opportunity to say a very good good morning to the good people of Sasala West and also to uh, say good morning to some few people who are very uh, ardent viewers of your station, Pan-African Television. Uh, uh, I have an elder in Golu called Smaila Nyanan. Every now and then, I'm sure by this morning, as He's we speak, tuned in. he is very glued to his television set viewing Pan-African TV. And so, uh, Mr. Nyanan, if you are currently watching the program, I say good morning to you. And also, I have some four friends who says that uh, I should acknowledge them when I'm on television today because they always follow me. Uh, they are my good friends. They are twins. So Amanda and Amel, if you are watching the program, I say good morning to you. And uh, Newson, I say good morning to you. And then Bana, I say good morning to you. Justice, um, this... Bless. Uh, bless. <laughs> I don't know what justice has done to me <laughs> this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last week we discussed this very issue here. And uh, when the ECOWAS chairman gave you know, a, a, a one-week ultimate, I was, I, I, I was surprised when I heard that. Uh, like I stated last week that I, on any day, wouldn't support any coup. But then when you see a coup that is being appreciated by the people of the country. The people of the country that it happens. It means that, just like my brother said, the people of Niger are, are interested in it. They, ever since this thing happened, we've not seen any group of people, not even a civil organization in Niger, trying to condemn the coup. And it's like almost everybody in Niger, even those outside the country, are happy that it has happened. And so what I expected ECOWAS as a country, to, um, as uh, an organization should have done, is to as, uh, look at the situation as it were, to see, is it a coup that really the people are against? Because it is about the people and not about a leader. I've always maintained that if you are a leader, you are leading people, and you must lead the people as they want you to lead them. And so if you are leading them and there's no any impact on their lives, I don't think that you are leading them. You are only a leader for yourself and not leading the country. And I think in the case of Niger, that is what is currently, or that is what has happened. If you look at what is currently happening, it means that the leader, the, uh, the, 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 the former president, was not actually leading the way the people of Niger wanted him to lead. If he was leading the way the people of Niger wanted him to lead, I think, a, but now, it will not be ECOWAS, it will not be UN, it will not be US, or it will not be France that would have been putting pressure on the military to hand over power to the, 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 the democratic person that was elected to lead them. But what we are seeing now, it is like the people are happy that this has happened. They see it as an independent declaration. They see it as somebody that has come to liberate them from, you know, hardship. Somebody that has come to save them from the hardship they've been experiencing for far too long. And so they are happy. And they are, if you saw some of the videos, you realize that even the civilian, the people 
are moving from house to house attacking, you know, former appointees of the, <laughs> the, the government. It tells you that the people were already angry. The only thing that prevented them from also taking the law into their hands is they were vulnerable when it comes to arms. And so they couldn't have done any civil coup. And so if somebody who uh, probably has access to the weapons decided to take the gun and say, you know what, step down. And I'm happy. I'm happy for one thing. Ever think that all the reports that we've been seeing coming out from Niger, we haven't heard of anybody losing his or her life. Not even the president. He's only under detention. Nothing has happened to him. Not any of his former appointees has been, you know, attacked by the military. It is, it is a very peaceful kind of a, a coup, sort of. And so it is something that, uh, as ECOWAS, uh, that should rather look at what is happening. The impact of the coup. Did, they bring, did the coup bring any negative impact on the people? The vulnerable groups, the women, the children, were they affected? Did, did the coup destabilize the country? You know, if you ask yourself these questions and you are not finding answers to the question, it tells you that this is a positive coup. And the people, especially that the people are welcoming the coup, and they are happy, rejoicing, you know, celebrating. They see it as a, 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 a kind of like independence that they want. And, you know, one thing that is currently happening in this world, I don't think that it is about uh, the, 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 the major problem we are facing as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a world is this Western powers, especially with the Africans. I wonder if they do the same to other continents. But when it comes to Afri Africa, most especially the West Africa, we are too much vulnerable and they, they, they have so much interest in our affairs. I don't know. I don't know. We, we, we are also capable of managing our own resources. They don't have interest in our affairs. That is what yeah, I want to say. That's in our resources. resources. Yeah. And so they should leave our resources for us. Look at what is happening at Mali. Yeah. Look at what is happening at uh, okay. uh, Burkina. Okay. So, yeah. Look at what happened at Guinea. And now it is Niger. So if you look at all these countries that I've mentioned, it is, it is because these countries, they have something to do with France. You, you colonize them in the past. Leave their countries for them. They are also capable of managing their natural resources. Do you understand? So, if the, uh, the, the, the what's the name of the former president, the outside Bazoum. president? Bazoum. Bazoum. Yeah. Bazoum. Yeah. Yeah. If you really want people to fight for you, I don't think that it's US. it should be US, <laughs> France, or UN. It should be the people that you <laughs> were leading. They should be the very people that you should to be fight, calling yeah. on yes. to fight for, for you. you. And for the past almost two weeks, I have not seen a single demonstration, not even a group of 10 people saying that, no, we want a democracy, we want the country to be restored back to the democracy. No, everybody, everybody is excited, celebrating. It tells you that the people do not want you. It tells you that your leadership was not making any positive impact on their lives. It tells you that your leadership was rather worsening, worsening their what? already <laughs> poverty, you know, level that they were experiencing. And so they think that this military leader, especially he coming out with things that he is ready to cut ties with France, they are also ready to ensure that their natural resources are well managed by themselves and no longer going to export any out of the country. I think, I mean, the ECOWAS should look at it this way. And you know, my brother, the, the very first day the ECOWAS chairman made that comment, I, I just, <laughs> my brother has goofed a lot because you cannot invasion. threatening, when you talk about invasion, you say, you, what are you, why, what are, what are you going there to do? You want to restore the country back to the democratic elected president? Is that what you want? So when you say you want to invade Niger, and then the security in Niger says that we will rebel when you try anything, who suffers? The people you seek to protect, the vulnerable groups, the women, 
you know, the aged, children. the children, they are the very people that will suffer. And that would even be more dangerous than what we are experiencing, especially that uh, a coup has happened and nobody has lost his life. And so you, if you try to invade there with your soldiers, your army from other, you know, neighboring uh, uh, African, uh, West African countries, and then the, 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 the but I heard Burkina said they will support. support. Mali said they will, Mali said they will support. support. Guinea, has Guinea has also said they will support. Algeria is yes. also saying they will support. So, so what kind of, it isn't it more dangerous? Because you can imagine these countries coming, coming together, together to fight the other uh, uh, West African countries that will and be going there. And so by the end of the day, <laughs> we, will lose, we, will lose, we will lose lives. People's properties will be destroyed. Houses, families will be destabilized. You know, so I mean, they cause it. These, I, the the the, the refusal of the junta uh, leader to meet the UN or US mission for them to negotiate and all of that. It is as a result of the ECOWAS leader, the comment he passed. You know, you dare him, so they are also daring you. Yeah, and now he has support. Then yes, now he has support. If yeah. initially, even Algeria and Kowa, yeah. they are all supported. Oh, yeah. So if initially. Initially, they can't. That they cannot. We say, do. okay, we, we had you, but we want to engage possible. you as yeah. leaders of the coup. We want to engage you. Yeah. You should have gone on the target, on that target that we want to engage you. What are the issues? Let us meet. You arbitrate. Table yeah. them. Yeah. Arbitrate. Yeah. Yeah. You, you don't are, go you are, and threaten them you like them we will like invade. invade. Really? <laughs> First of all, find out the reasons why they think that. It is time for them to take over yeah. the leadership from the democracy. Well, you should have engaged them. I would be surprised at his own country. Mm. Yeah. They will overthrow him. <laughs> you should have engaged them. I won't be surprised. To find out from the people. <laughs> Let them you table the issues before you. There's a then window of change. You peruse, I'm telling you. You yeah. peruse their reasons. But you yeah. cannot just sit at your comfort zone and uh, say to true. them that uh, <laughs> I, I am giving you this number of days. If you do not or hand over power to the president, the former president, we will invade. Who will fight you? Really? The guy himself is under arrest. Like, I mean, and so for me, <laughs> like my brother said, it is time for U.S., uh, U.N., whatever, they should leave our country for us. Look, when you travel to Europe, from any of the European country to the other, from either Belgium to Netherlands or France to uh, Belgium, you, my brother, it's like you traveling from Accra to, uh, let me say, um, Kofoidia. You will not see any, you will not see any barrier. You won't even realize that you are transitioning from the one country to, to the other. There yeah. are no, but look, they are all spending one common <laughs> currency, <laughs> which is euro. One if you go to the United States of America, we all know they all spend US dollar. Hmm. So why can't they leave us alone? Like my brother, with this ECOWA, since when was it formed? They have never, they cannot talk about any single achievement. You know, not even single achievement. I have, you know, on this show, I, there was a time I spoke about this, when it was about this Burkina issue. I said, what they do is they go there to attend ECOWAS conferences, drink tea, just greet friends, exchange... Tomorrow there's another friends, one. And so you be another tea drink. And they spend you sums of money. <laughs> yeah. You know, yet we don't see any meaningful thing that comes out of that organization. Right. To me, it's as useless. Right. You know, so ECOWAS, if indeed Gosh. we want to move forward as a continent we should really look at how we want to be black yeah. and I, my I'm brother said something you. that really touched me last i said it here i said look if you are a leader and you think because you are voted you are, you are elected nothing can be done to you be very very careful every now and then when you lead for a period of time try to ascertain let somebody assess your performance does my performance does it reflect positively on the people that are lead? Ask yourself these questions. Does the people that are lead, uh, do they have confidence in my leadership? If the answer is yes, then you are on the right path. But if the answer is no, you better sit up. And so this is a strong warning to all African countries, especially we, the West African countries. If you realize this thing is happening in a way, it happened in Burkina Faso, not once, Within two years, Burkina experienced about three, three coups d'etat. 
It happens in uh, is it Mali? Mali and Mali Mali experience, to Guinea. Guinea experience. Guinea, Niger. Niger. So the 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 remaining leaders must sit up. Right. It is not about the yes. There's a constitution governing me. The only thing that prevent people from taking or going organizing coup is we all know when you organize, you attempt and you fail. The law is there. Treason. You know what you are supposed to be taken through. But if you attempt and you succeed, it's legal. In, in, even though I, on any day, condemn, I don't think that is the right way for us. Yep. We can go the civil way. The civil way, when the opportunity is presented, just as go we are going into post in 2024, we must all come up with way, our numbers. Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.